I'm Nicole. This is the Midwest Teen Sex Show. Oh. Oh. In this episode, we're talking about... <gasps> While the orgasm is a really cool part of sex, it isn't the only thing. So guys, don't just go thrusting away until you spooge. Take time to enjoy all the sensations of sex. There, I said it. Can I talk about orgasms now? And then he filled my vagina with rose petals. Cindy, what was your first orgasm like? Well... Is... This your card? <laughs> yes! Yes! <laughs> and then he filled my vagina with rabbits. In straight sex, vaginal intercourse can cause an orgasm. You just need to wiggle around a bit until you find the right position. Nothing stops an orgasm from happening, like being asked over and over again if you're about to have one. So stop asking me, Becky. Need a light? No, I need an orgasm. Looking for the big O, huh? That's right, and it's gonna take a while. You up for the job? I'm always up for the job. But we only have four hours, or I have to contact my physician. Sex cop! Squirting, spontaneous, and multiple orgasms are not myths. Vaginas can do magical things if you diddle them properly. Thank you for coming, my child. Thank you for coming, my child. No, thank you. Amen. Don't be afraid to make noise when you come. Everybody sounds a little bit different. Some people are silent, and some people are screamers. Yahtzee! The same can be said for the amount and consistency of fluids. Some people only let out a little squirt, and some need to put down the sawdust. I don't know who you're talking about, detective. Don't play dumb with me. Where is he? Right behind you. You're coming with me, oh. You got the wrong guy, Detective Kubowski. But if it makes you feel better. <laughs> Kubowski, you're off the case. What do you mean, Chief? You're a loose cannon. You brought me in a fake orgasm. But I'm telling you, that's him. That's I got a go. thousand dicks I can put on this case bigger and smarter than you. I can solve this. Turn case. in your dildo. Fine. But this isn't over. It's to my mother. An excellent vocabulary word and a way to reach orgasm safely with a partner is frottage, or as we call it in Wisconsin, dry humping. Since we're all wired differently, there are all sorts of ways to make an orgasm happen. Guys, you have a prostate gland up inside your butt. Stimulate it with a finger, a penis, or the internet. Ladies, don't forget about the G-spot. It's a bundle of nerves inside the vag cab, and you should just give it a little nudge. Okay, a lot of nudge. All right, it's day 296 and we still have not found the elusive clitoris. At this point, we have passed its area of habitation, but we may come across its distant North American cousin, the G-spot. Although it is indigenous to this dark cavernous area, it cannot be seen by the naked eye. We must discover it by touch. With all of life's stresses, don't let orgasms be one more. Use them as stress relief. Parents, remember, happier, healthier teens mean fewer school shootings. So if you hear your son or daughter rubbing one out, do your part to stop the violence and go fold some towels. Are you okay? He was here, wasn't he? Yes. Which way did he go? Which way? Not that way. You be nice to him. Looks like you're all dried up, Big O. <laughs> this time. <laughs> you're quite a dick, Bubowski. Looks like I'll be needing that light after all. Sex cop! People describe the sensation of the orgasm in different ways. Some people say it's like a wave, and some people say it's rather abrupt. There are some people who think it's a purely emotional thing, homos, and some people think it's physical. They're kind of like God in that they're a different experience for everyone. Only unlike God, orgasms are real. 
But Todd, Stacy says that- Stacy's on crack. There's no such thing as a female orgasm. Don't you think I would have given you one by now if there was? I guess. Who's the king? Todd's the king. Who's the king? Todd's the king. That's right, Todd is the king. <laughs> Todd's the king. Todd's the king. <laughs> Todd's a liar. Todd's a liar! 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 Most of the emails I get on the subject are from people asking how they can tell if they've already had one. If you can't tell and you're in the room, what makes you think I can tell? I live in a camera.